Rochester, New York, like many U.S. cities, has found itself on a path of high crime and high murder rates since the summer of Floyd 2020. In 2017, the city saw 28 homicides. In 2018, the same. In 2019, they recorded 32. Back then, their murder rate was around 15 per 100,000. In 2020, they had 51 murders. In 2021, 84. In 2022, they recorded 76. Their murder rate has more than doubled and is now around 36. Rochester saw six homicides in January this year, a number they hadn't seen in the first month of the year since 2016. In fact, the city had only two homicides in January of 2021 and four in January of 2022. The deaths included that of a 70-year-old man stabbed to death by his son, the beating death of a baby boy, a woman killed in a car crash, and three fatal shootings. The city is divided into five patrol sections. Of the 76 homicides last year, 45%, or 34, occurred in the Clinton section, an area that's home to many of the city's worst neighborhoods. The dark blue on this graph shows the Clinton section over the years appearing to be the worst for homicides, except in 2021, when the Lakes section, shown in red, had 10 more homicides than Clinton. 2023 is starting out the same, with Clinton section recording two, as well as the Goodman section and the Lake and Central, each with one so far. Looking at the closed cases rate, since 2020, the city has closed between 55 and 66 percent of its homicides. In the three years prior to the summer of Floyd, the city was closing 72 to 88 percent of the murder cases, even though it appears they've managed to maintain their staffing numbers. The neighborhood with the highest violent crime percentage is the Mayor's Height neighborhood, at 633% higher than the U.S. average. The neighborhood called Best is ironically one of the worst, with a violent crime rate 562% higher than the national average. The Charles House and Edgerton neighborhoods are also find themselves with violent crime rates over 500% worse than the U.S. average. And the North and South Market View Heights areas aren't far behind. The city's population peaked in the 1950s and has been on a decline since, but has maintained numbers for the last 10 years or so. So with slow growth and rising murder numbers, the city's homicide rate will likely continue to rise. It is a positive sign that the city is solving around 60% of the murders, which is far more than many U.S. cities have done recently. So the police are doing their jobs. Let's just hope the prosecutors and judges are doing the same and these guys are getting locked up. The city of Rochester is fairly diverse, 37% black, 35% white, and 19% Hispanic. With a median household income, well below the U.S. average. 82% of the adults living in the city have a high school diploma and 27% have graduated college, but the schools rate below the national average. Housing is still affordable and you could likely find a home for under $200,000. Whether you'd want to live in it or not is another question. The state of New York is more expensive than the U.S. average, but Rochester is actually less expensive. 